Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you the two big differences between the Hyper 212 Evo and the Hyper 212 LED. Okay, so you're looking to get a Hyper 212 uh, CPU cooler and you're not sure which one to get. Now, if you're using AM3 or AM4 socket motherboards, then there's a definite choice, and that is the 212 LED with its new AM4 style mounting bracket, which is a considerable amount easier than the standard 212 Evo. Now, the reasons you may want to decide between the two would be purely um, cosmetic in reality. The 212 Evo, will fit on the CPU and it can go that way or it can go that way due to where the heat pipes are and the way the bracket connects to the lugs. Now the big difference with the new 2 and 2 LED for both AM3 and AM4 is the new bracket which is included just fine now. Sorry I wasn't better prepared. So instead of all this, that is all you need on the new model. The downside to this is you have a much easier installation, but you have a more limited installation especially if you have uh, high or um, large RAM sticks. So if I put this in place, and I'll show you what I mean. So that will only go in that way, it won't go in the long way. So you'd latch over, I'm sorry, you put it on upside down. Come on, get in there. This is still, although it's an improvement on the design, it is by far, uh, it's far from perfect. So latch that on there. Centralize the cooler. And with a slight bit of pressure, sorry, a lot of pressure. In fact, what feels like an extraordinary amount of pressure So that's on and then you just twist that around to lock it in position. So it's an extremely firm um, attachment, but the downside being is because of the width of the CPU cooler, you can see potential interference with the VRMs on this side and potential interference with socket one or slot one on your memory. Now I'm gonna grab a stick of Hyper, uh, HyperX DDR RAM and we'll see what the clearance is like and indeed if we can actually fit it in that socket. So, be right back. So this is uh, pretty much generic DDR3, which is roughly the same size or a little bit taller than the DDR4 LPX, which is very common um, in use of systems. But this is considerably smaller than things like RGB or uh, Vengeance RAM. So let's try it and see if it will fit in the first slot. Okay, so we managed to get it in that first slot. It wasn't very easy. And I don't know if you can pick up that, how, uh, how tight it is. And that is a, a very, very close. And that is moderately low profile RAM. So although it did fit, it was a squeeze and it would have been easier to put it in before the CPU cooler, which uh, I guess some of you are gonna tell me in the comments below. But as you can see, it does fit but it is a very close call. So if you're using um, memory of heat spreaders, just uh, buyer beware. So that really concludes the video on how, e how much easier it is to install the uh, Hyper 212 LED against the Evo or the older models due to the new AM4 bracket, which uh, 
negates the need for all of this craziness and removing the original AM3 Plus uh, plastic retention lugs. So this has been Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been the Hyper 2 and 2 LED and the Hyper Evo. And we'll see you again in the very next video. Thanks for watching.